Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Wednesday, July 20th. Tesla has released its financial results and shareholder letter for the second quarter of 2022 after the market close. The automaker reported revenues of $16.93 billion and earnings per share of $2.27, beating Wall Street expectations in both metrics. Also, Tesla managed to increase its cash position from $0.8 billion to $18.3 billion during the quarter. Operating gross margin was at 14.6%. In terms of production, Tesla had the greatest month in the company's history, closing fast on record numbers. Fremont Factory is churning out 650000 in annual production. Texas is at 250000 per year. Gigafactory Shanghai close to 750000 and Berlin, hopefully getting close to 250,000 units, although Tesla was not as vocal on the numbers from Berlin. This puts Tesla at making nearly 2 million electric vehicles per year. The numbers are quite staggering, especially given the parts shortages across the industry. To give you a sense of scale, Ford is currently doing less than one-fifth of this capacity between the Mach-E and the Ford Lightning pickup, although Mach-E production has been slowed by parts shortages as well. Rivian currently is working towards their goal of producing 1.25% of what Tesla reported today. And as far as I can surmise, Toyota seems to have made about 0.6% of Tesla's annual numbers with their BZ4X. Now, if you ask me, this is a clear indicator that Tesla is still in a huge lead over other automakers. This is in terms of technology, infrastructure, software, artificial intelligence, and clearly production. Now, with that said, there is a cost for being a trailblazer. Other companies can catch up quite quickly by traveling the path that Tesla has already made. Some automakers could very well catch up in time, that is, if Tesla takes a break and rests on their laurels. Tesla is reporting that its fleet of customers driving with the full self-driving beta program have now surpassed 35 million miles driven, and the pace is actually getting greater. Since Tesla is using a portion of their customers to engage in the data collection process, they're accumulating real-world use cases at a very rapid rate. Elon Musk said that Tesla will soon release the version 11, and that will merge the highway and city driving software to create a single experience. Also, Tesla aims to have 1 million people on the beta program by the end of the year. Both these efforts should greatly increase the number of miles driven in the program. The update is currently expected for the end of August, however, Timelines have been pretty slippery for the program. This week's Quick Charge is sponsored by Aventon Electric Bikes. Aventon offers premium e-bikes and accessories at a great value. Adventure delivered direct to your front door. Aventon offers a wide range of electric bicycles armed with a powerful e-bike motor that goes up to 28 miles per hour. Aventon's award-winning Pace 500 and 350 set a standard for upright cruiser e-bikes with new upgrades and design features. You can check out their website, aventon.com. That's A-V-E-N-T-O-N.com. Tesla announced that it sold most of its Bitcoin, about 75% during the last quarter. In early of 2021, Tesla invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin because why not? Shortly after, the automaker started accepting the cryptocurrency as payment on vehicles However, they took that back within a few days, citing the cryptocurrency mining operations and sustainability. Since Tesla's initial investment, Bitcoin surged in value and then dropped again. Tesla might have avoided some of the losses, but we're not sure when they sold within the quarter. Tesla has paused scheduling new solar roof installations in most U.S. markets. It's not clear what's happening, but the deployment of the solar product is at a crawl. When launching the solar roof, Elon Musk presented it as a critical product to accelerate solar power deployment, but the product has been buried with other solar and energy products when Tesla discusses raw numbers. It's unknown why Tesla has had to pause, but it's likely due to a low supply of solar tiles. One customer actually had to wait with tarps on the top of their house for months, awaiting tiles for the finished installation. Perhaps it's better that Tesla is putting the brakes on the program. Hyundai says that they will build a small, cheap electric vehicle for less than $20,000. At the Automotive News Europe Congress in Prague, Hyundai Motor Europe's marketing chief, Andre Christoph Hoffman, confirmed that the Korean automaker is working on an entry-level electric car for the European market. 
It's true that America has a much smaller market for smaller city cars, whether they're gas or electric. It's common for Americans to feel the need for a vehicle that can travel great distances, even if daily driving is still very low in terms of mileage. Hyundai isn't alone trying to capture this entry-level market. Several other automakers have announced that they're working on programs, such as Volkswagen with the ID Life vehicle. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Dean McManus says that he's perturbed by automakers stating the starting price of a car and then touting the max range, max speed, even though it's always on the top trim level for a lot more money. Yeah, Dean, that's pretty much every car company being guilty of that manipulative advertising. Some people are dismayed by the amount of range that they see in real life from their electric cars, and Tesla led the way in that term as well. And hey, even food is even being sold by a serving size that really bends the rules of common sense, at least here in America. I really don't have any hope that these things will go away anytime soon, even if a law was passed. Dare I say that there are three things certain in life, death, taxes, and advertising. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.